Today we've finally seen the first Oppo foldable phone and we've got the chance to get onto this new phone and we're pretty sure that this is going to be the most popular foldable phone in 2021, at least for the first half year. So check it out with us to see how Oppo made this phone so practical and convenient than any other phones in the market right now. Actually, it's not the first foldable model developed in the inside the Oppo brand. As we saw in the experience zone, they've made and cancelled at least four generations of foldable models. Most of them might remind you one or two of other brands foldable machines, and now they might call the Find N as a revolutionary model for the type of foldable phones. And believe it or not, the folded Find N is a perfect size for one hand holding and operation. The 5. 49-inch 60Hz auto display offers a full smartphone experience that is close to the iPhone 12 mini. But of course it's much heavier, weighing 275 grams. However, the extreme compact size doesn't make it feel so uncomfortable when holding in a folding form. Especially if you consider that it's equipped a 7.1-inch 120Hz inner display. The weight is way more than acceptable. Looking back to the auto display, some, some of you might complain about the 60Hz refreshing rate. Yeah, it's one of the very few drawbacks on paper, but in actual uses, it's almost not perceivable, even when switching between the inner and outer display. It's probably because the 16Hz can also run fluently with the smaller screen. And if you considered user experience, we also found that generally we will look at the auto display for more basic and convenient uses such as information or notification checking, message reply, and so on. While we want to watch videos, play games, read books, or like content consumption for a long time, just unfold the phone and get an excellent visual enjoyment with the 120Hz bigger display. And also for saving cost, it pretty makes sense. But we need to mention that the inner display has a near square ratio, around 8.4 to 9. And it has an FHD plus resolution with 500 nit maximum manual brightness and up to 1000 nit peak brightness. During the experience, the brightness indeed is not very impressive. But another impressive detail is the flexen hinge, which brings pretty wide stand angles and a minimal crease. From most viewing angles, we could hardly find the exist of the crease and the design also practically eliminates the gap between display when folded, which can also better protect the inner display from scratches. The phone can also be unfolded and freely stand at any angle between 50 to 120 degrees. An Oppo also offers a pretty wide adoption of actual uses for certain apps like playing music and videos, turning the bottom part as an operational zone, or serving itself as a tripod, making 4K time-lapse imaging, video calls, or online meeting easy and hands-free. But by far, it seems that all these adapted apps only limited in Chinese market. And the software of the Find N also got nicely optimized. With the more intuitive multitasking and productivity, the 7.1-inch display could bring users more possibilities and higher efficiency. It's also pretty smooth to switch between the two displays. When unfolding the phone, the content is seamlessly relayed from the outer screen to the main inner display. And when folding the device, the user can swipe up on the cover screen to continue using the same function on the outer screen. For example, it's amazingly smooth when we switch it when using the cameras to take a selfie. Speaking of the cameras, the Find N is equipped with the triple camera rear setup for high quality photos and videos. It included a 50 megapixel Sony IMX766 main sensor, a 60 megapixel ultra wide lenses, and a 13 megapixel telephoto lenses. And there is a 32 megapixel selfie camera on both the inner and outer displays respectively. As we showed here, the Oppo Find M gives us quite refreshed camera experience with customized software, good advantage of foldable form factor. We've made a list of phones other features, so you can check it out here. 
sometimes we are confused about why a phone needs to be foldable. Especially after seeing so many models using a foldable form, we found that the experience improvement on these phones is not really significant. But over the Oppo Find M, the experience was quite unique. And now we are truly thinking about what foldable form can optimize our actual uses. And the biggest surprise of the Oppo Find N is definitely its pricing. Starting from 7699 RMB equivalent to somewhere around 1200 US dollars, which is much cheaper than all the foldable models in the market right now and makes the foldable phone more accessible for many many more users. How do you like this brand new foldable phone? Or if you have any ideas about its full review just leave your ideas down below and our full review of this phone is coming soon so stay tuned keep subscribing to our channel if you like this video please leave us a like and i'll see you in the next one